here are some rights of women in Islam that you might not know of. Number one, the mahr. Mm -hmm. And essentially, the mahr is a gift that the wife gets. From the husband. Mm -hmm. But it is a gift that the wife gets to choose. Mm -hmm. It could be anything. It could be if she wants a house, she can get a house. If she wants a car, she can get a car. If it's a sum of money... Modesty is key, yeah. ladies. Yes. So number two, inheritance. Ugh, us poor women. We only get to have half of what our brothers would essentially get for inheritance, but I get to keep it all for myself, whereas my brother would have to spend it on the entire family in raising our family and taking care of us. Number three would be a woman and her earnings. Mm -hmm. Everything that I make is mine, not yours. I, 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 you don't even get to see what I make, and I don't have to spend it on my family. Unless you want to, because obviously there's no restriction in that yes, regard. Yes, exactly. So do us men get wedding presents from the wife? No. Do us men get to keep all of our inheritance? No. Do us men get to keep all the money we earn for our family? No. And yet they call us oppressed.